D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I've got a Mitsubishi system here. See the multi? With an 1102, 1102 error code. I believe that is a discharge thermistor or discharge pipes too hot error. And as you can see, I already got my, uh, I'm by the indoor unit and I already have my, uh, my computer hooked up. Let's go up and show you that. But before we get into the video, as always, I want you to go ahead and, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and, um, smash that bell icon. So when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. All right, so here we go. We're connected to the indoor M1, M2, as you can see right there. And I just removed these little plastic covers so I can get my clips onto the uh, easily onto the terminals because sometimes this could be a pain in the BUT to get the uh, the wires in there, the clips on there. So you take the plastic piece off, and then you can connect your terminals. All right. So let's go see what these error codes are about. So you can see we are in error. Indoor units is flashing red. There's two indoor units and one outdoor, as you can see. So we're going to look at the arrow, convenience data. And if you want to know how to get into this system here, I have other videos about it on my channel here. So go and watch them. Move that. Click on monitor down here. See what we got. So I'm going to go ahead and uh. So you go, yeah, discharge, temperature, trouble. We've got some other preliminaries here. Um, there is all your errors that's on the system. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna return and I'm gonna reset the, uh, the system. And then I'm going to run it. We're gonna run the system. And see what we got. So we're gonna go monitor here, and I'm gonna go OC. Confirm that. Here you go. System is off right now. It's not running. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I. Probably could turn it on from here. Let's give it a shot. Even though it's in arrow. See we're off arrow. I'm just gonna simply go to the thermostats and just reset it from there. There we go. The reset. Yes. Do the other one real quick. Reset. Okay. All right, so we are set to heat. We're cooling here. We're very cold inside here. All right, let's go see our system variables, pressures and temperatures and all that good stuff. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We have videos uploaded on a weekly basis. So let's wait for the system to come back online. So the system is, uh, we're in system mode, we're in heating right now. I mean, preheating, preheating. 
okay and oftentimes guys once you see that 1102 that arrow it's a um, loan charge all right so discharge thermistor is getting too hot or discharge superheat is too high it's low on refrigerant so here is my high side temperature and you can see that's a uh, I said I said pressures 183 and uh, low set is 85 we are in eating mode actually no low set is 59 compressors at 31 Hertz so we are in eating mode and discharge thermistor is rather hot even though we are 68 degrees over here you know so yeah from the looks of this i could tell you already that uh it's not looking too good we're gonna have to get some refrigerant in the system but well, i'm gonna let it run for uh, for 10 more minutes and then i get a better look at the system and most likely what i'm gonna be doing is just you know adding some refrigerant and then see what the response but from experience, I could tell you this is low refrigerant. There goes that. So my TH threes is only six to seven. Um. So but TH four right here is at one thirty four, and yeah, um, it's a huge difference. Compressor discharge pipe right here, and these are the pipes coming into the indoor units. You know, after I traveled for how many feet between the indoor and the condenser. Um, but yeah, you know, this number here and this number here are too far apart. So I know this is um, mostly heat of a. Uh, Compression more likely. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what transcend. Um, head pressure is only at 193. Oh, my low pressure is at 28 now. Wow. Let's go back to the diagram. Yeah, 28. See? 28. 28 PSI. Low side. So, yeah. I think that my initial punch, based on experience, is correct. That's what my metering device is doing. Uh, this metering device is pretty much closed down a lot. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go be putting, I'm gonna put some refrigerant in the system here. Potentially it's a leak. Potentially it was a sauna charged, I don't know. And then just see what the result is. Um, Like I said again, from experience, I know that 1102 is a that error code is associated with um, low on refrigerant charge. All right. So yeah, guys, uh, that was the diagnostics. Um, low refrigerant charge. You can see your back pressure is at 31. I mean, that's like. Sour 14A guys, and head pressure, only 193 PSI. Our 14A again, and the compressor is doing a 28 hertz. It ain't gonna go any higher because there's no point. Uh, it's just gonna pull into a vacuum if it tries to speed up any further or any faster. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna head to the condenser right now and I'm just gonna add some refrigerant. Um, and look, we're at 150 degrees here. That's all eat of work, or I should say eat of compression. There's a 150 there, and we are only 68 over here. Only 68 on our indoor right here. See, so yeah, definitely we ain't moving in the gas. This is gonna cut off again soon. It's gonna overheat the sensor right here. It's gonna overheat again, it's gonna trip on that 1102. So it was the yeah, 1102. Yeah. 1202, 1102. 
1202 and 1102. 1202 is a preliminary, I believe. The preliminary and then 1102 is the, it's actually the final fault. So we are full, we are in full heating right now. And uh, we're no longer doing preheat, we're full heating. And you know, I said we're not looking good. Low side is 28, high side is 197. Let's go back to our diagram. Um, compressor, what are we doing? The fan is only running at 10. I think that's full speed for this unit. But compressors are 28, 28 low side. We're in full heat, we're at 158 on the discharge, which is what gives that, ar that error. But we're still at 67, we ain't moving on the inside. So yeah, that's the diagnostic guys, this thing is low refrigerant. I'm gonna go up to the condenser. And I'm gonna add some refrigerant just to confirm. Because so potentially, most oftentimes, people don't know how to properly charge these systems. So they'll just honor charge them. Um, and I find it I find it a lot. So not always not always is a leak. Sometimes there's a leak. But oftentimes people just don't know how to charge them. You know, or properly charge them. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off. If you like it, thumbs up. And um, actually I'll just comment because I don't want to just go to the roof with this thing recording. I'll just like leave in the description. You know, like that I had it refrigerant and the result, if everything, if everything came to life and look, look and works good, I'll just leave that in the description. But I think uh, from experience, it's, um, it's going to be good. Uh, compressor at 39 hertz and this is going to get, get, get hotter and hotter until it goes into a preliminary and it's going to go into a actual fault. See, I'm still at 67 here. I've not changed not, 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 I barely moved on this one. This one is at 71. Right, so huge difference there, guys. 67, 71, and uh, 163. Too much of a difference. If I'm leaving from here at 163, I should be at least 120 here, right? Or, or, or 110. You know, so yeah. All right, so that's it, guys. Again, if you have, if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Video uploaded on a weekly basis.